My new customer. Mm -hmm. So I type in your name and your first name, and now uh, we just uh, repeat uh, the scanning procedure from here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Next. Then. calculation of the scanner truck. and uh, of course this is not realistic because you were wearing your trousers but anyway it shows the principle One of these patterns? Yeah, let, let's. To your CAD. So, now here we go. <laughs> Here we have some seams from shoulder to shoulder, connecting the front and the back shoulder, connecting the sleeve cap with the arm hole. So all the seams that you want to see later in your simulation, you have to define beforehand. Same with the orientation, these pattern pieces are laying horizontal, but in simulation you will need them 
with the functionality video start, I would call my simulation software and transfer this pattern to the simulation software. In the simulation, I would select the avatar for it. I select my colorways and I start my simulator. So now the system is calling up the avatar and it's calculating where the pattern pieces have to be draped around the avatar. So this placement works totally automatic. Let me hide the avatar. So this is our 2D pattern as they come from the 2D CAD system. I start my simulation and everything is stitched together. Here you see a progress bar. When this is green, it's almost done. But the model looks already good. I stop the simulation here and zoom into some details. Like you can set up every stitching. So in production, everybody knows, okay, this is a olive stitching, one millimeter offset. And I anytime could select the seams, can apply another stitching type, double stitching, zigzag stitching, set back. Most competitors stop here. When you want to change something on the garment or on the fit and in the look, you get stuck. You have to go back to your um, tutu. So I can have a look how is it made inside. Delete the needle again, it will close again. Or I can, if I want some nice pleats and look it more active or I want to bring up the sleeves, I can anytime just pick some needles, bring the sleeves up and make it look a little bit cooler. If I want to go this to pattern piece, I say, um, zoom the piece, it will zoom the pattern piece in the CAD system. I say shift these elements, let's say minus five and zero, so make it five centimeters longer and then I only need to update my simulation and immediately I get the change on the CAD side and I created a mistake because my zipper is now too short for the long waistband and I can immediately see, oh, okay, there's still one defect. I have to update my bill of material, I need a longer zipper, and of course I have to change my pattern for this. Now I want to tell my production people where is the logo placed. So I can easily pick this point, say, set a point, and it creates me a point in my CAD system where I can give a note, this is the center of my logo on the back. So let me load in something that is more complicated. Load the simulation. I think this, what you see now, is the maximum that you can do currently in simulation of garment. It's a complete men's suit. So with all the layers, trouser, jacket, gilet, tie and shirt. That's the garment. And if I hide the layers, you see how the vest is taken together by the belt. Hide the gilet. You see how the pant is tucked into the trouser. I'll hide the avatar and hide the pants. And you see how the shirt is following the shape of your body if it's tucked in the pants. Right, right. 